back everyone. Back into it. We didn't get enough team. subscribers. Josh beat me again. It happened. You knew what to do, people. And you let it happen. You fed us. It's, you all just... your fault. it's all your fault. Purposely? You're not sharing with your friends? Josh is beating me. It's okay. I still love our fans. <laughs> I still love them. You, you on the other our, hand. Our fans don't love me. I get no love for the fans. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Fucking robots. So should I tell the uh, the T B story? Sure. So once upon a time, I was at work. I'm Harley. Once upon a time, I was at work, and part of the requirements for being in my career field is I have to have a tuberculosis test done every year. And what they do is they plant a PPD under the uh, under the skin, and it bubbles up. And say it usually stays raised for about a day and then it goes away unless it's a positive and it turns red and it hardens. Well, I've never had a positive test before. And didn't really expect to have one this time, but um, we had to do this refresher course at work. So it's just, you know, all of our PR stuff and whatnot, real boring shit. Just a bunch of people who don't do our jobs telling us how to do our jobs because they supposedly know how to do it better than us. That exploder took yeah, out the bridge. Stereotypical bullshit. Another way across the river. Anyway. For my little one. So, I got my test done on a Wednesday, and you're supposed yeah. to get the test, uh, test, uh, you're supposed to get the test uh, read within 72 hours. Well, I didn't work again until Saturday, and so when I came out on Saturday, there was nobody there to read it. So I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to tell my manager that it was, that it was a negative, and you know, I'll be fine. Well, my manager's like, well, I'd like to take your word for it, but I can't really do that. I need to see the result. I'm like, fuck. Okay. So it's like, okay, well, uh, come in your next shift, and we'll we'll do another one. Okay. Fine, I'll, I'll get stabbed again. Fine, fuck it. So I came into work. So I came into work, and I got another test. And this one hurt like a bitch. Like, oh my god, it hurt. Uh, well, I should say, before he gave me the test, like, he worked all night. He had to work, like, he had to do uh, some training in order to get his CCT uh, licensure. And part of that is you have to work, like, a couple of 24-hour shifts as a CCT uh, medic, which is critical care transport. You coming around? Yeah, hold on. Uh, too late. It started moving out zone. Anyway. What are you talking about? Oh. The lift. Anyway, so after a shift, he was like, okay, well, let's just get it over with. Let's just do it real quick. So he pulls out the vial, he draws up the solution, he's tapping the air out of it so I don't get a fucking embolism. And while he's flicking it out, he accidentally flicks the needle off too. He's like, fuck, you know what? Forget it. It's already drawn in the, the syringe. I'll just grab a new needle. Whatever. So he grabs a new needle, draws a little more solution, flicks it out, and then jabs me. And I'm like, ow, ow! Really fucking hurt. I thought he went too deep with the needle. Because this is supposed to be a, uh, uh, subcutaneous? Subcutaneous shot? Which means it's just under the first layer of skin. So it's a really, really, really shallow, uh, uh, really shallow shot. Anyway, so I thought he went too deep. I was like, whatever, fuck it. And then I got a page out to go work at the literature fair in Chicago. I'm like, okay, that's cool. It's gonna be a really easy day. Nothing's gonna happen. It's a literature fair. There's nobody doing any physical activities, whatever. It's just me sitting there for a couple hours. Well, I was sitting there and I fell asleep for a little bit. I woke up and I started watching Netflix with my partner. And then I bumped my arm, the arm that I got the injection on, against like the seatbelt or something. I brushed it. I was like, oh my god, this fucking hurts. And I look and it's all red, it's swollen, it's really big. And I'm like, oh my god, I have a positive result. What the fuck? I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I'm going to have to get chest x-rays for the rest of my life because I'm always going to test positive for TB now. I'm like, son of a bitch. 
And so I texted my supervisor, I'm like, hey, yo, I'm having a reaction. This is what's happening. He's like, yo, uh, um, you shouldn't be having a reaction this soon, but keep me posted. Let me know what's going on. I'm like, okay, I will. So I went out the rest of the shift. I only had one call. I got a call at 10 o'clock at night. And I went to pull the stretcher out for the call. And I almost dropped the stretcher because my arm hurt so bad. I was like, I can't bend my fucking <laughs> This is terrible. So we had to have a little help loading our stretcher. And once we got our stretcher loaded and we were ready to head out, um, I texted my, my manager again. I'm like, hey, man, I'm going to have to call out the rest of the shift. Man, this hurts too bad. I can't do this. He's like, send me a picture of it. So I sent him a picture. He's like, oh, yeah, that's bad. I'm sending you home. I'm like, cool. So he texted me the following days to see how I was doing. I was like, yo, it's still red. It still really hurts. Um, but I think it's get, It's not really getting any worse. It's just getting bigger. He's like, okay, well, I have an idea what's going on. I think you're having an re uh, allergic reaction to it. I'm like, son of a bitch. Because now that's another thing I got to worry about. So a couple more days go by, it gets bigger, it gets redder, and then it starts going away. I'm like, okay. I come into work three days later. And he pulls me aside. And he's like, hey, I need to talk to you. I'm like, okay. He doesn't pull me into his office with the other manager. He pulls me aside and says, hey, man, I got to tell you something. I'm like, okay, what's up? He's like, I fucked up. I'm like, the fuck do you mean he fucked up? He's like... Well, I was supposed to give you... I was like, I got good news and bad news. I was like, okay, well, give me the good news. What's the good news? He's like, you're not having a positive... That's not a positive T, uh, TB result. I'm like, sweet. Puts me at ease. Because now I don't have to worry about having tuberculosis. That's awesome. I was like, okay, well, if that's the good news, what's the bad news? He's like, the bad news is you didn't get a tuberculosis test. I'm like, what do you mean I didn't get a TB test? He's like, well, uh, you'll need to get I went to give the, uh, give the test to somebody else, and I went to grab from the same vial that I gave you, and the medic stopped me and said, hey, um, I don't need a flu shot, I need a TB test. I was like, you shot me up with a flu shot. He's like, yeah, I'm really sorry, blah, blah. He didn't know that I get sick every time I get a flu shot. I get nauseous, I can't eat, and like, I'm just generally in pain. And when you get a flu shot done the wrong way, it's even worse. Get over here, right? Let me kill it. Let me kill it. There you go. So it turns out he gave me a fucking influenza shot instead of my TB test. I was like, you motherfucker. The, you love. Do the first time I've ever called a manager a motherfucker to his face. I've always dreamt of doing it. Never actually did before. Exterminate. But yeah. So that's my story. Rat! Get my ass kicked over here. What are you doing? Playing with the, the thingy. Smashing butts. What stuff? Watching you die. You gonna revive me? Trying to work my way over to you. I died! Here's your red and you can't wear pants. Injuries red. Where's hurt, right? Where's hurt? Bullets. Enjoy your new you. Bandit detected. Repairs needed. Never requesting repairs. Alright, let's get going. Don't worry, Red, I'm coming to save you! I killed it. No, I didn't. Yeah, I killed it. What? I thought I killed it. I killed it. We can use that to request. You saw a kill. I didn't steal your kill. I saved your life. I saved your goddamn okay. life. I'm leaving. Head to the town of Overlook. Thanks to Hyperion's. I'm leaving. Oh shit! Fuck. Murder. Bag of babe. Okay. Brandon! I got a text message. Okay, you know what? Why don't you check the text message in between episodes because we're out of time for this one. No. I'm going to check it right now. 
Well, Red's tech checking that. Hey, you know what? Thanks, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll pick this up in the next episode. So hashtag hashtag oh, hashtag 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 fuck Derek hashtag hashtag fuck Derek hashtag hashtag stop the beatings. Just don't die quickly. Beatings will continue until subscribers improve. Hey, <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out, homies. Don't you back. Ah! 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 Hammer time! Ah! Whoa!